Hi guys and welcome to another Divi WordPress tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well in the last couple of videos we showed you how to install WordPress both automatically and manually and then we showed you where to download the Divi theme, how to install and configure it. And once you've done all that this is what you get and it's not really interesting I have to say. Uh, this is just the default page obviously there's no content for this site yet. So in this video we're going to set up the home page and put our own little custom logo in here. Like I'm sure you've heard me before, Divi is an absolutely awesome WordPress theme. If you're building any sort of WordPress site at all, I do suggest you check it out. If you want to take it for a test run, you can do so from my affiliate link below this video. So let's get started. Let's make our home page. I'm just going to go straight up to new. I'm going to go down to page to create a new page. I'm going to give our page a title. I'm just going to call it home. Really imaginative title there, but <laughs> that lets me know I'm going to use this page for the home page. Once I've done that, I'm going to publish it. Now that it's published, I'm going to use the Divi Builder to build it. So let's click on Use Divi Builder. And it's going to bring us to this page now. Do we want to build it for scratch, from scratch? Normally, this is what I do. Well, we're not doing that today. If you want to see scratch builds, have a look at some of my other videos and we'll be doing a lot more in the future. Choose a pre-made layout. This is what we're going to do today. By default, Divi comes with all kind of layouts and you can just choose one and use it. And we'll do that for expediency. Clone an existing page. We don't need that because we've got no other pages that we want to clone. But that's also quite handy for if you've got a nicely styled page you want to use on other pages. So let's go ahead and click the browse layouts. I'm not going to spend too much time thinking about this. I'll just grab the first one I see. This will do this little agency layout right here. If you left click on it, it'll show you what it's got. And this one's actually got an about blog page, contact page, home landing and portfolio and pricing pages all there for you to use if you want to. And you can view a live demo by clicking on the view live demo button here and here it is right here. So this is what we're going to get if we choose to use this and that's, that's absolutely fine with me. That looks pretty good to me. So let's close that down. Go ahead and click on use this layout. And it'll start loading the layout for you. Depending on the amount of images and things that you've got there, it may take a while. When I say a while, I mean a minute or so. That's, I guess, not very long. And here we are. It's loaded this in here. Fantastic. We've got all these nice little sections now for our front page that we want to use for our website. And it makes it really easy to edit to just left click on any of these modules and you can add your own text and take away theirs. Put in whatever you want. Same with the titles. and any of the other modules you can just click on and edit them if we just left click on the section you'll see this one up here that's for the actual section and this one here is for the actual module and that's the one that we'd go inside and edit that in more depth if you wanted to change the names on the buttons etc everything else is pretty self-explanatory with a fantastic divi builder here the blue tab is for the section, the green tab is for the row, and the little dark tab is for the actual modules themselves to go in and micro edit anything you want to change in there. Very easy, just click on the cog for whatever it is you want to edit, and it'll bring it up here, and you can style it and do whatever you want with it. We're not doing that today, we're just going to use this and we're going to set this to the home page. So we're happy with this. So what I need to do is save, hit the save button down here. Once we have the check mark, I can exit the visual builder. Now, if I click on the logo here, it's going to take us to the default home page. 
which is that pretty uninteresting looking page we started with this is what we don't want we want to set that page that we've just created as the home page really easy let's go ahead and just hover over the little dashboard icon up there go down to theme customizer now once it's loaded I won't go through all this I'll do this at another time I'm going to go down to the home page settings click on that and it says your home page displays your latest posts well no because we haven't got any so we don't want that a static page well that's what we just created a static page so if we click the button there and select the page that we want and I call it home there we have it and it's now put that home page as our home page so when anybody goes to our domain or the root of this site here this is what it's going to come up as or if you click on that logo too it'll do that okay well let's put our own logo in quickly so I'm going to hit publish on that because we want we're happy with our changes so we want to publish our changes then I'm going to X out and I'm going to go to the dashboard I'm going to go down to Divi and I'm going to go to theme options Now I'm on the first tab here the general tab and it says logo so that's where I want to put my logo in so I'm going to hit upload I'm going to drag my new little logo over there there it is here are the images that it imported from that template there but I want the logo so there's the logo just make sure it's got a check mark and set as logo and we want to save our changes now if we go back to the customizer or you can just visit the site we can actually decide how big or small we want our nav bar and the logo there we go there's my logo that looks a little small to me so let's go to header and navigation primary menu bar this is the primary menu bar and you've got menu height logo max height text size etc I'll make my logo a little bit bigger there we go something like that and of course you can adjust the menu height What I like to do is let's put it back where we want it. There you go. Text size fine, letter spacing is fine. But you see when we scroll, that menu shrinks up. That's a nice little feature, but if you don't want it, we can change that. So just remember that number 83 menu height we want it to be that height so if we go back fixed navigation settings fixed menu height I think it was 81 wasn't it oh done it a bit small drops a little bit because I've not got it right there but as you can see it keeps it more or less the same size I think it was 81 There we go. Well, it might have been 83. You can type it in there or you can use your cursor to do it. Now when we scroll, that says exactly the same height. If you want it to reduce in size, just take this one down on the fixed navigation settings. And then when you scroll, it'll it's a sticky one, so it'll stay there, but it'll reduce in size. So there you have it, just publish your changes. Exit out of there. And visit the site. Very simple, in a few minutes we've set up our home page and added our custom logo. So I hope you've enjoyed that. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. 
If you're interested in web development, take a look down below. We've got some great free courses down there as well as some premium courses with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers, so do check it out. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.